My name is Mpaso Sakala, and I'm from Zambia. I'm the founder and director of um, an organization called Intersex Society of Zambia. So the main focus of uh, this organization is to promote and protect the rights of uh, uh, intersex children and, and adults. So how I became an activist, it was um, mainly influenced by what I went through as uh, a person who was born intersex as well. Uh, and mainly it was issues around, uh, I saw firsthand on how intersex children, uh, we are suffering uh, because there isn't uh, much help or even linkages in terms of even uh, parents, especially the mothers, because mostly even just uh, um, the mothers will be accused to be the cause of why they have an intersex child in the family. And it's most left to the mothers to raise that child. So for me, I thought um, it would be good uh, because I've come to accept and understand uh, how it is to be intersex and I've learned on how to um, fit into society. If I can stand, I'm able to talk, I'm able to voice out these issues, why can't I do it? Because these children won't be able to voice out their, uh, their issues. And that is why I'm still here. It's because of those children I saw suffering and what I went through as well. So uh, in my work as an activist, um, threats are there, but in my case, uh, in most cases I would say, it's how I've conducted myself also uh, in society, trying to navigate uh, around traditions because there are norms which you have to follow. And in terms of uh, religion, you face all those barriers because people will not understand you. Even in the workspaces, people will not understand you. Even, especially when it comes to school, most of the intersex people have dropped out of school because of the stigma and the discrimination which comes because people don't understand the issues. So some of the, the, the cases um, I've engaged or worked on uh, during my time as an activist, I've intervened on some intersex cases where a child uh, was to undergo surgery. Uh, I contributed to, in terms of uh, giving guidance on how best to go around the issue. And I'm glad that my advice was taken up. And today, I'm happy to say I contributed to that. What I would want to achieve um, with my activism is to bring visibility to the intersex community so that they are able also to enjoy uh, the human rights just like any other uh, human being. And also, intersex people having an environment where they can contribute to the well-being of uh, the country. The hope for the future in terms of uh, intersex, I need to see intersex people get degrees, intersex people taking up uh, spaces, being medical doctors, being engineers. That's what I would I want to see. I would say governments in these countries, they should understand that uh, before anything else, every one of us is a human being. And uh, in terms of uh, this working safely, it's a two-way thing. But bottom line, I would say, to ensure their safety, every one of us needs to understand that before anything else, every one of us is a human being, and every one of us is entitled to human rights. I suggest um, help me realize some change at national level. It's mainly around issues of um, uh, capacity building and also linkages are very important. They've also connected me to which people can help you with what or which uh, uh, systems can also help you in terms of amplifying your voice.